Well, I think it's pretty clear that Donald Trump is going to win uh, Iowa tomorrow, and um, there's not much hope of anybody overtaking him. I think uh, that's not a big surprise. I don't think it matters that much because, uh, you know, for the past 24 years, the winner of the Republican caucus in Iowa has not been the nominee. So it's really about the fight for, for second place. And, uh, you know, Ron DeSantis has put all the marbles on Iowa and spent all of his time and money and seems to be uh, going in the wrong direction. I think Nikki Haley's got all the momentum. And what this race is really all about and the, is to try to nominate the strongest possible nominee for November. Uh, I'm convinced that the momentum is with Nikki Haley, that uh, she has the potential of moving into uh, a second place, although it be at a, a, a distant second place, which gives her momentum heading into uh, New Hampshire, where she's only seven points down. And uh, I think that, you know, that, that that's a real possibility if she could potentially uh, get, come in second place in Iowa, move on to New Hampshire, it's possible she could win, which would put her in a much better position when she moves into her home state of South Carolina. I've been saying since uh, last spring when I made the decision not to run that uh, I really uh, did not want to see a multi-car pile up that would just enable Donald Trump. I, I think we want to have the strongest possible nominee in November. Polls show that that is Nikki Haley, that she's 17 points ahead of Joe Biden. And uh, it's a toss up with Trump and Biden and DeSantis is losing. So, yes, um, I think uh, it's time for the party to get behind Nikki Haley, my friend Chris Christie, dropped out of the race in New Hampshire. I appreciate his effort. Uh, but uh, I, I believe that Nikki Haley is the strongest chance uh, for us to put, put forth our best possible candidate for November.